So on chambers that pressurize with air, we have to make sure, number one, where's that air coming from? Is that air being purified before it's going into the chamber? And then once it's in the chamber, is there any way of recycling or cycling that air? And so on our equipment and for the chambers and clinics that we support, we run air through oilless compressors. We use oilless compressors because that almost completely eliminates the likelihood of any carbon monoxide buildup. We take that air through a multi-stage filtration process which is going to medically purify that air so that we know that the air that this patient is getting has no carbon monoxide and is purified from all possible toxins, including dust, mold, and fumes from things like carpets, paints, or anything else. So we're driving this medically purified air into the chamber, and that air is what's building up inside that chamber, helping to create the pressure. At some point, that chamber is gonna get to the pressure that we wanted it to, and at that moment, air will start to purposefully leak out of the chamber and so that the air coming into the chamber matches the amount of air leaving the chamber. And that's what helps keep the chamber at the treatment pressure for the duration of the therapy. It's called a flow system. Air is flowing the entire time. As long as air is flowing the entire time, typically at a minimum of 100 liters per minute, we are pushing purified air into the chamber and then we're actually cycling and recycling the air out of the chamber, keeping the air fresh the entire time that that patient is inside that chamber.